I think the deal is a very poor one. I don't think the MPs will ever vote for it unless it's radically changed, and it won't be. So where does this leave us? Um, it's really difficult to see a way out of this. Uh, you know, I, I just think she's never, ever going to win that vote. I'm sad that a decision hasn't been made because I think, I think a bit of unity would be helpful now if people could actually find the similarities rather than fighting and finding differences. So I think um, for everybody's sake, and I feel um, it would be much better if we could have um, found some sort of decision. But, you know, if there's a second referendum, that wouldn't be a bad thing, but it does undermine democracy, which is not a good thing. I think it's time to realise that if two votes have gone unsuccessful, she really needs to, yeah, really consider things. <laughs> It seems very strange that the country has, in a sense, tied itself into this triple knot. Uh, logically speaking, I don't see how it, it can, could have got out of this, by, certainly by the vote this evening. And, yeah, it, it's, it's rather troubling that our democratic system has been uh, breached by, uh, according to the European Parliament, they, they've agreed that, w that that has happened by foreign forces. So it's rather mysterious. Well, it was going to be devoted, uh, defeated, we knew that. Um, what will happen next, I don't know. Um, I, the one thing I do know, there really cannot be. Uh, we don't want extensions or because that will achieve nothing at all. An extension, nothing's going to change on an extension. Or another referendum, that will just put people on the streets. Um, I don't see how there can be any winners.